The Texas Tesla Giga plant is now open for business. With an official Cyber Rodeo opening party last April 7th, this will now join Fremont, California, Shanghai, China, and Berlin, Germany in the increasing list of worldwide locales where the corporation makes its electric vehicles. In addition to being the first of a new generation of Tesla car architecture that uses their own created 4680 battery cell and structural battery pack, Elon Musk will hand over the first Model Y automobiles from Giga Factory. These vehicles might have an exterior similar to a standard Tesla Model Y. However, the interior of the built-in Texas cars represents a significant advance in both technology and design. One of the biggest and most sophisticated production facilities in the entire world makes all of this possible. The construction of Giga Texas has progressed spectacularly compared to the voyage of its sister factory in Germany, and it will undoubtedly transform the way that Tesla conducts business in North America. So today, we are discussing everything that has gone into creating Giga Texas and the direction that this plant will lead. Welcome to TechLux, where we share all about the latest tech trends and luxury lifestyles of the current most influential people around the world. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so by liking this video and hitting that big red subscribe button. The main component of the plant is 3 quarters of a mile long and 1 quarter mile wide, making it extremely large. It would take over 2 miles to walk around the entire building. The plant has 4 levels, with a total height of around 7 stories and a floor area of about 8 million square feet. Three separate buildings run lengthwise through the facility beneath the massive diamond form we can see today. The Giga Factory's interior could now be traversed via covered roads thanks to Tesla's actions. By doing so, they are able to drive fully loaded tractor trucks through the plant's middle and make pickups and deliveries right where they are needed. Similar actions were taken by Tesla with the brand new Giga Factory in Germany. To facilitate targeted deliveries, docking base for semi-truck trailers were built around the full perimeter of the structure. To get supplies to the middle of the factory floor, however, would still require internal transportation. Giga Berlin is considerably smaller than Giga Texas. At some time in the following year, the Model Y product at Giga Texas will just be the first stage production lines for the Tesla Cybertruck, and even their enormous electric semi-trucks will be added to this. Inside the factory, there will also be a complete production line for the 4680 battery. The closest thing we have yet seen to Elon Musk's lofty idea of an alien dreadnought factory that can create entire automobiles solely through automation is Giga Texas. For such to be conceivable, every component of the vehicle must be produced either under one roof or at the very least at the same factory location. The Fremont, California facility for Tesla is a dismal example of this idea. They can't even fit all the equipment required for producing the vehicle body under one roof. To produce the Model 3 and the Model Y, they were forced to resort to setting up the Gigapress machines in the parking lot and erecting massive tents. Fremont automobile batteries and packs are made in Nevada and shipped across the four final assembling. Although it isn't quite the fully automated, everyone has to start somewhere. The autonomous alien dreadnought concept is quite much resembled by the Giga Factory in Shanghai. Although they didn't have to create any parts in the parking lot and may not have on-site battery production, they did manage to fit all of the vehicle production equipment within the factory. However, they are quite close to Tesla's Chinese manufacturing partners like CATL. Tesla's intention to install solar panels in Giga Texas' whole roof has been known to for some time. Observers have already noted that they want to use well-placed gaps in the panels to spell out the word Tesla across the top. Tesla has plans to build a sizable battery storage facility next to the factory to manage the electricity supplied by those panels, which is a brand new development that we just learned today. Tesla has submitted a permit application of the city of Austin in order to install utilities and re related improvements on a 53.27 acre site close to Giga Texas at 12601 Tesla Road. The project name was Giga Texas LCRA Permanent Switchyard and BESS, and the application was submitted on March 25th. Providing some suggestions as to the utilities and corresponding upgrades that will be included, the term battery energy storage system refers to the Tesla Megapack unit. A Megapack can be used to, de to deploy 1 gigawatt hour of storage capacity on just 3 acres of land. As we mentioned before, the Model Y being built in Texas has a different interior design than the one that has been shipped to American consumers for the past two years and is made in Fremont. 
Die casting technology is fully utilized by Giga Texas, which has a sizable portion of the manufacturing floor devoted to the Giga Press machine from Tesla. 6,000 tons of force are applied by these enormous mechanical presses to crush molten aluminum alloy into molds. The result of this technique is really straightforward. Rather than trying to piece together several small elements to form one large one, Tesla is able to create liquid metal directly into the one sizable solid item using the injection technique. With the back portion of the Model Y frame, Tesla has been doing this successfully for almost a year. The entire structure of the driver's feet of the front bumper is made of one solid piece of aluminum thanks to the use of a Giga Press in production at Giga Texas. By doing this, the car is strengthened, made lighter, more corrosion resistant, and less prone to manufacturing flaws. And as if that weren't enough, these cars also have the 4680 cell in a structural pack, Tesla's most advanced battery and pack architecture. Tesla is now producing this brand new, very effective battery at their own production facility in California. They aim to build battery that is both speedier and less expensive than the one that is currently used in the Model 3 and Model Y. In a separate structure next to the current auto factory, Tesla will eventually begin producing the 4680 on-site at Giga Texas and subsequently at Giga Berlin as well. These cells are unique in that they will function as part of what Elon Musk refers to as structural battery pack, which is conceptually similar to the front and rear casting. Tesla is replacing a number of tiny components that go into the pack and are then fastened to the car structure in a manner akin to a box inside a box. Without the need of four modules, the additional cells are simply placed into a pack, which is then directly joined between the front and the back giant castings. The top of the battery serves as the car's floor. The pack serves as the frame, and the sears are really directly affixed to the top of the pack. More durable, lighter, and more effective, and again, less prone to error. The easiest route is always the right one, but sadly, we still don't know much about the specific details for these Texas-made Model Y cars. Hundreds of them have already been manufactured and set up in the parking area around the plant. Recently, though we've also noticed white and even red automobiles leaving the assembly line in addition to the majority of them being black and blue. As a result, we are aware that the paint shop is currently operating at almost full capacity. Initially, we only saw the long-range Model Y variation with the normal wheels. But lately, we've also seen snagging automobiles with black-coated rims, which may be longer-range vehicles with an induction wheel update or even the performance Model Y that is only offered with the blacked-out super turbine wheels. This is already a significant improvement than Giga Berlin, which was only producing the Model Y at the time its initial delivery. Performances in black and white lacked all variety. And only thing about this Texas-made Model Y is that it is genuinely known is whether or not the specifications for range and acceleration will differ in any way from those of the Fremont-made vehicle. A better performer in both areas is clearly a possibility given the breakthroughs in battery cell and, and pack technology. And Tesla may choose to specify these as such. The Texas car and the California car are likely to have the same specifications even if they are drastically different in terms of physical design, which complicates matters with the product line and sets customers' expectations as to what automobile they will really receive. 90% of buyers won't even notice or give it a second thought. Basically, only those like us will become fixated on this information. That's it for today's video. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.